So I just got put onto this anime and now I'm here to put y'all on. This anime called Windbreaker, which came out like two weeks ago. Now I'm not here to say that this is gonna be some crazy story, but what they do have is hands. And y'all know me, when a show got excellent squabbles, I'm tuned in. So it starts off in his dreamland and pretty much everyone is hitting on the MC. You got the shorties gossiping, the adults talking shit for no reason, and then they all came together to literally hate on this nigga swag. This is the highest degree of dick suck I've ever seen. And then we see the main character, and he's one of those strength is the only thing that matters type of niggas. And by that sentence alone, I bet we all know where this story's going from here. Anyways, it cuts to this group of dudes messing with old girl while homeboy put up to check his ass real quick. Slip. Stood over that boy just to call him a bitch. The camera pans out and all them niggas got cooked. Bro right here got ass tooted. And this nigga, he's, he's dead. He saw the light, it's over for him. Then he started talking about some, oh, you better remember the name Soccer or some shit like that. Whole time, I'm like, who is you talking to? Them boys are focusing on survival. They cannot hear you. So then she invited him to eat. And long story short, the town was unsafe from all the turf wars going on. And Sakura here enrolled into this school full of delinquents was because he likes to punch shit so then he goes outside and the dude he knocked out earlier pulled up like 30 deep oh. then he started making fun about how he looks but all that did was give him a reason to whoop your ass you picked the wrong guys to mess with pal the fuck up all that yip yap just to be the first blood is crazy close the gap weave nice. done knock the spit out your mouth use his body as a trampoline but hold on leave hurricane he said don't touch the fit, overhand, backdash, they stayed trying to sneak but he said weave, shout out John Cena, hit that boy with the attitude adjustment, and look at him getting mad bringing out the bats, swing and a miss, and I know your hands is rattling after that, hit straight concrete, and look at dude trying to catch a mid roll, whoops I stepped, I don't even gotta say nothing here, just look, that single punch took away half his lifespan, but we ain't done though. Leap in, knee to the face, and bro running in like he about to do some. No technique required, straight barbarian punch your stupid ass. Yeah, that's a two piece. And bro trying to sneak from behind, but look at his eyes. Already calculated the movements. Take a seat. And what you trying to do, give him a hug? Look at dude's face, he's truly disappointed. Counter your dumb ass. Weave, leave hurricane. This man took out half the squad and they still trying to box. If I seen one dude beat 10 niggas back to back, I'm going home. Nigga must have trained under my guy, what I like finding him. They all ran in and he almost took dude's head off his shoulders. Blocked the hit, grabbed the leg and told him to hold his punch on the way down. Quick little back fist, weave, damn. I know he regrets every decision he made up to this point. You can even see the exact moment when he realized his life was over. Nigga, you better apologize. I don't know what you did to make him that mad, but he grabbing collar and all. He making this shit personal. Shut, shut. Weave, back shot then broke the leg. Weave, got that man looking stupid. He don't even know what happened. He went for an open layup but airballed. But hold on, just toggled first person mode. That's two piece. Oh, we grabbing now? Back off, bitch. Dude ran up and caught a sweet chin music. Jumped off the leg, don't care if you block it, nigga, we break guards. Excuse me, sir. Weave, he said, hold on, did you just grab the drip, nigga? And look at bro in the back, he said, oh damn, I don't think I wanna fight no more. He saw that man give him a Tanjiro level headbutt and watch no part. Ran up on that boy and what I told y'all about blocking, that shit don't work. Slip the punch, move nigga. Spin sidekick, dude missed so bad, we just gonna ignore him. Then gave this man at least four broken ribs. Then shorty was like, oh my. What's all that racket going on outside? Walked out and immediately got turned into a hostage. But Sakura said, nigga, please. You think that shit gonna stop me? Dude got laid out in a single hit. Did all that for what? Then bro tried to sneak him, but nah. Hold this roundhouse. Got him in the back, kissing the wall. This just went from a death match to a search and destroy. Front kick, then kiss the kneecap. Bitch. Weave, two piece. Back step, grab the leg, yeah, he's doomed. So you can get back. They lucky they forced our boy into a different game mode cause this protecting shit ain't it. One dude ended up getting the knife and slash bro's ankles. See, that didn't do much damage, but it was a critical debuff. 50% less movement speed. And when we thought it was all over, 
that's when the higher power levels came through. This man blocked the metal bat with his shoulder blade, proceeds to grab the bat and dude munched on straight elbow. But that man did not come alone. Honestly, this is overkill. The fact that you can break a metal bat with your bare hands says it all. You could have done this shit solo. And this dude right here set him all up for failure. Talking about some, come on guys, it's only four of them. Nigga, did you pull up late or some shit? The freshman was whooping y'all ass severely and would have kept whooping y'all ass if you didn't change the game mode and then the big dogs pull up and you think your chances increased because this dude is picking y'all up like children this one is too agile for y'all to do something about it and this dude is just straight up being y'all ass what chance did you think you had and i hate how the people start cheering when these dudes pull up like my nigga soccer wasn't putting in that work and remember when i said this area used to be dangerous because of the turf wars we found out that these high school students stopped all that shit two years ago and the people started calling them windbreaker and look how everyone is surrounding these four like homeboy wasn't the first one on the job they came up a little later but nah nigga we don't want your pity praise he stood here fighting for his damn life i know y'all saw him protecting shorty while still putting up excellent combos they pulled up four deep while he was here dolo i feel like if he wasn't wearing a school uniform they wouldn't have said a word to this nigga but knowing sakura's backstory he's been getting hated on for just existing so i can't blame him for the way he acts towards people but then shorty was like chill bro you're the main character you need to have friends at first i was like no way this nigga is that corny did he just run away but turns out there was one last dude so he hit him with a dynamic entry but yeah bro that was the first episode this is kind of like tokyo revenge but without the crybaby main character but hopefully they keep up this amazing level of squabbles because this shit is fire